Okay, we're live. Okay, hello there. This is Janae, and we are going to be creating those um, some collage papers with the old books that I found yesterday. Okay, so um, let me switch the camera here. Okay, so I had to get out of paper and everything because I'm going to get messy. Okay. So let me move the palette over here. So I thought I'm going to go ahead and just tear out a few pages. I just love the old the old books because they're yellowed and um, this one's even. This one looks like it's even got a little more yellowing. Grab a couple of those pages too. Okay. So we're going to use only two colors, I think. That's what I want to start with anyways. Okay, so we're going to use these uh, ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. And you have a, get a really lovely, lovely range of color with these two colors. Um, actually, we'll make a really nice black and Payne's gray and all these lovely, yummy colors in between. Okay, so, and we're also going to use white, of course. We need some white. And add some white there. Oops, okay. So let me start with one. And, ooh, I forgot to grab on the first thing I wanted to start with. Let me grab it real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, sorry about that. Um I had a painting day with my girlfriend today and um, she just slept a little bit ago and I had to hurry up and eat and grab all the stuff for tonight. So, okay, so these are Catalyst. These are made by Cat, uh, Princeton. They're Catalyst um, jiggies and <laughs> scrapers. And they make like, these big honking sizes and then they make the little guys. Okay, they're, they're still like really long, but they're. See, they're just they're a little smaller. Okay. Honestly, you don't need these big giant, ginormous ones unless you're like working on this ginormous canvas on the wall. So we're going to toss those aside, but I just wanted to show you those. And put these here. And some other ones. I don't know what I did with them. Okay, well, we're not going to worry about that right now. Let's just get started. Okay. So one of my other favorite ones is, is this callus one, and it's just a simple, it's like a spatula kind of thing, but it's a nice flat tip and uh, the short handle. I use this all the time. I love this thing. So let's start with that. Now I'm going to use this just to put the paint down. And actually, I think I'm going to thin that a little bit. I don't think I cleaned this brush very good because it's pretty stiff. Whoa, it is really, really, really stiff. Okay, so we're just going to do that. That's kind of interesting. We're just going to leave that one like that. I think I'm actually going to bring another color for, um, let's see here. So I want one that's thicker to show you some stuff. So for the um, okay, see if I can get that top off. This is a um, out of there interactive paint. This it's some thick paint. Okay, right all over my fingers. I'm not going to get, get that off. Where did my towels go? Okay, so 
paper towels. Okay. All right, so let's put some of this on. We're gonna paint this on nice and thick. So let's stick that in there and we'll grab the, and this color, it's a blue black, which is what we'll get um, when we mix our ultramarine and our um, burnt sienna. Okay, so we're going to do that, and then we're going to take the orange one, okay, and we're going to just pull this through it. That makes these nice little subtle lines. Okay, I'm gonna start throwing these on the floor because I don't have any rough to put them. Okay, so let's try, let's try watering this down. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that. All right, so let's get that on there. Ooh, I like that. And maybe I might even dab. That's kind of an interesting texture just doing that with the paper towel. I kind of like that. Okay, let's just leave that one like that. All right, let's take another one. And now let's oh I forgot to grab the other thing I wanted to so grab that. See here, I got a container full of all different size lids and stuff, and even like an empty pill thing. Okay, let, let me take a smaller one here and let me just spread this out with my fingers. <laughs> okay, and we're just going to use the cap and we're going to stamp with the cap. And you can still see the words from the book um, through the paper or because it's translucent. So you can still see it. I don't know if you can see it really very good on the video or not, but I'll hold it up to you. So just using a cap from one of my makeup things. Hold that up. You can kind of see the text. It's really faint. I don't know. That's very easy to see, but I can see it. That's faint, but it's it's there. It is there. So let's see here. Let's take another one. And let's make this one even lighter. I'm gonna just um, that that be a little more watery on my brush. Oops. Okay. And a paper towel thing. And this one I've used. I need to get a new, new toilet paper roll. <laughs> so, but it's nice getting to like squish it. And it's got to be like just an unusual, not like a perfect oval or a perfect anything. Um, I'm going to kind of squish it and just see what happens. I kind of like that. Yeah. 
have an organic shape. Okay, so let's take, um, let's take another one. And I want to put this on thick. Okay. Whoops. All right. Now let's get a. Um, what are we going to do? Um, see if I, oh, yes. There we go. I'm going to take a. A. Um, Shish kebab skewer. And do some repeated lines. I'm using the fat end of it. Now you can use the small end, of course, and make smaller little tick marks. Down. Okay. Now, ah, I know what I want to do next. Oh, I got off the thick paint. Let's um, let's grab. Let's grab. What would I grab? Let's see. I got palette makeup. That's what I need. I'll put some of that on the palette right there. Okay. And then I picked a stamp here, a numbered stamp, and I'm just going to ink that up. And I'm just going to stamp it. Oh, that one's got way too much paint. Oh, it's getting kind of globby. Let's wipe that off on the towel and try it again. Well, let's try this. Let's clean it off. Let's clean it off. And some water since that's making a good old hot mess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That's nice. <laughs> I swear I'm the messiest artist on the planet. Okay. Oh, that's that off. There we go. Okay. Let's see a better way to get that in there. Let's try. Let's let's paint it on. Let's do that. Of course, that seems to be a lot more work, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Oh, you like it? I don't know who you are. When you, it just says if you don't allow Streamyard, you gotta like do a little thing where it says allow Streamyard to. Um, it's only so they can, so I can see your name on, like on the comments, because otherwise it just says Facebook user, and it won't say, you know, who you are, so that's the only, only drawback with that. I'm going to use my little mini, mini brayer to do that. There we go. Wow. Yeah. You just try and see what happens. We'll just we'll just go with it. I mean, they're just going to be collage papers anyway, so I'll just do that. Okay. At least uh, using the brayer, it's not getting all clogged up like it did the other one when I just stuck the whole stinking damp into the paint. Like, yeah, what, what do you think is going to happen, girl? It's going to get all gooky. Okay. There we 
go. All right. There. Okay, got it done. Well, let's stick a couple more in there. There we go. There's a spot. Let's put another one. There, 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 there. Okay. Now we got a big, got a whole page full of threes. And let me kind of get all that off of my, my stamp here real quick. Sorry about that. Got my big old arm in the picture. Okay. Dump that in. I think in the future, um, I need to get a big bucket of water and have it on hand. <laughs> Because, oh, because I make such a mess. Okay. At least I remember to put on an apron because I am forever forgetting to put it on. And then I end up getting pee all over my clothes all the time. That's, that's a hot mess. Okay. So, let's see here. Um... Let's take... Let me go ahead and go back to this. Where it gets all dried out. Well, I need a whole lot more of that. Okay, so this is the burnt sienna. Isn't that such a pretty color? I love it. I love earthy colors. So it reminds me of the west, the rocks out west. So beautiful. Beautiful red rocks out in Utah. That's where I met my husband. We're just, I met him in Moab. I mean, what a great place to meet someone, right? And in the arches, right by the arches, uh, park. Okay, so. Let's just, I don't know, will this work? See, we're just experimenting. I'm always playing around trying new things. Well, let's see here. How about, let's take, let's take some of that um, ultramarine and we'll just kind of mix it right on the page. And I'm covering up my pretty, my pretty burnt sienna. I gotta work fast while well, it's wet. Ah, is it gonna? I don't think I got enough paint on there to do what I wanna do. I think I need a thicker paint, okay? I think that's what I need. I think I need a thicker paint instead of the, um, the little um, the fluid. Cause I, the, the, yeah, anyways, it's fluid. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just use some bubble wrap. Oh, that's cool. Let's do that. Put some of that on there. Yeah, let's put some of the that that on there too. Oh yeah, I like that. What do you think? I just have StreamYard permission. Okay. It still doesn't say. Um, it still doesn't say who you guys are there on on. Uh, I see comments, but I don't see see who it is. Okay, I like those colors. All right, so let me grab some thick. Oh, geez, I'm not getting everything over it. See, that's what happens when you have like the tiniest studio on the planet. I live in this little teeny weeny um, Sears Roebuck cottage, and it, uh, this room, I don't know, I think it's like 9 by 11, maybe? I don't know, it's not very big. Let's put it that way. All right, burnt sienna, here we go. Burnt sienna and ultramarine. Let's use, use up this little bitty tube. Okay, now I got some thicker paint. This will be good. All right, get some, yeah, there we go. We got some nice thick paint. Let's get some thick ultramarine. We're gonna need more. I don't know who I'm kidding. Okay, so, <laughs> hi Bonnie. How are you today? Okay, so let's do this. I'm just gonna kind of mix it on there. So if so, I'm taking uh, the burnt sienna and the ultramarine, and as you see, when it's mixed, well, 
I should just mix it on the palette, but I'm mixing it right on here. You see, and now this is making a nice brown because I have a little bit more burnt sienna than I have the ultramarine. Oops, let's get, get some of the ultramarine brown. Isn't that a pretty brown? I know, most people don't like brown, but I love brown. <laughs> I really do. I really like brown. I don't know, let's take this and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, there we go, look at that. Make some little lines and you can see the text underneath. Like that. Like that. Um, you like the bubble wrap, Gail? Yeah, the bubble wrap's fun. I really like using that. It's really cool, like if you're doing something with bees or something like that. I did that with my um, students um, at school as I teach elementary um, during the school year. And uh, I have a lesson that I do with the bees and use the bubble wrap. Okay, let's see here. Let's make, I don't know. Let's just use more. Let's more. Let's use more of this. Yeah. Let's get that. That's so pretty. I love that color. Okay. And I like like little hatch marks. Of course, this is gonna take <laughs> take a minute, but. It's really cool to have like smaller marks, um, papers with smaller marks, especially when you're art journaling. Because, you know, art journals are technically, you know, usually a lot smaller than, um, you know, than working on a canvas. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to go fast. <laughs> oh. <laughs> just, it's getting really okay. I did six on that one. <laughs> oh, goodness. Three, four, five. I know. Do, 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 three, four, five. Okay, there we go. Okay, that one. The, the paint's getting dry now. The paint's getting dry. Not seeing the hatches as <laughs> easy. But. And they're getting bigger and sloppier and there that, that there we go okay so but isn't that cool though i really like that i like that interesting um with the little tick marks so another one i'm thinking let's see here let's try let's grab this ultramarine i still have a little bit of the burnt sand on my brush and that's fine and it makes it, if we put more burnt sand, it's going to look more like Payne's Gray. So this one, I'm going to do like, like pluses. Like that. You know, so you can make all kinds of mark making and things like that. Um, just to create interest. I'll make them farther apart. That's what I'll do. We'll make them farther apart. There we go. I'll do that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, I'm doing well. I, um, I had a great day with my girlfriend. Um, I don't have much time during the school year because teaching kids uh, takes a lot out of you during the school year so in the summer we have uh, we try and do some painting days together and we we were working on watercolors and then we have lunch um, outside in my garden and it was really nice it was really nice I really enjoy it. And it's funny, we met through a photography group um, a while back because we both had a photo studio and we were in this photography group and um, 
we got to know each other and we both like all the same things photography art and painting and um, birds and gardening and cooking and essential oils and crystals and you name it <laughs> it's so easy to get each other a present she's like i always find gifts for you but but it's hard for some other people <laughs> she's like but i'm always finding stuff for you <laughs> because because we both know each other we both love so much alike uh, we're, we're different. We're really different, but we like a lot of the same things. I mean, we're completely different types of people, but we like so much of the same things. So, Tony, if you're listening, <laughs> it is. It was a fun, relaxing day. And actually, I don't know if you, you can't see with the light, but I did these um, swat. We kind of followed this class thing on watercolors because I hadn't done watercolors in like eons since high school. And I started. Uh, getting into them more this year and um, I'm running out of paint again and so I start getting it I'm really wanting to get better at watercolors and and she hadn't done them at all so um, we're, um, we're experimenting and playing with watercolors so it's been it's been fun she's like this doesn't look good I'm like we're learning we're learning girl we're learning we can't be good at everything all the time. <laughs> okay, so let me think here. Um, I'm thinking maybe this one could have like, I'm gonna do some lines. And then I'm gonna make some like circles across it. So, you know, there's lots of ways, you know, I mean, of course I'm doing, I'm, I'm going to stop doing stuff with the stick here in a minute after this and we'll play around with some more ideas. Let's see here. What else can we do? Anybody got any good ideas? What else can we do? I got all kinds of crap in this, in this studio, so you name it, we'll, we'll try it. Uh, got any, got any good ideas? Sam, anybody out there? Okay, we're just going to whip down with these circles, sloppy little circles. There we go. Okay, now I got another one. But you know, it just, it's, I have all these, it makes it really interesting to have different types of papers. Okay, so let's see here. Let's take, let's take this. Let's take this. And let me just use what's on there. Stick that on there. And... My brush it doesn't have blue all over it. There we go. Let's put some of these on here. See what happens. I'm gonna have to stick my fingers in all the little pill holes <laughs> to get it to print. Yeah, I like it. It's different. So let's see here, let's make another one here. Is there any more? Nope. Okay. Let me do that one. There we go. And let's put some down here. So that would be interesting. I like that. It's different. And that will make a nice collage paper. And let's see here. What else do you, I want to do? I think I wrote down some notes of things I wanted to do just to, because, you know, when you get online, you're like, okay, now what was it I was going to do? <laughs> okay. Is that one page or two pages? Oh, that's one page. Okay. So I think I'm going to go... I'm going to use this. I'm going to go back to this. I think I'm just going to let some of that show. Um, not paint it completely. Maybe I'll, I'll do this. Pull that through it. And then let's get a brush. Where did my round brush go? Where did it go? Where'd it go? Um, well, 
Let's see here. Where did the stinking thing go? Uh, <laughs> oh, it's in my water bottle. Well, yeah. Who would have thought that? <laughs> okay, so now we're just going to take a brush and just dab. You know, and the thing about making these is not to make them perfect. I mean, that's what makes them so beautiful is they're just, you know, quick, organic, and not perfect and that's what creates the interest in your artwork well I'm really liking this a lot I really like this one this one's I think this one's becoming my favorite how about that yeah I like that there. See, it's got a little, a little puddle of water, so the white doesn't want to stay there. So, oh well, there we go. So there's that one. Let's see here. Um, oh, a stencil. Let's do that. Let me grab a stencil. Let's see. I know. I know you do. I got an idea. I will use let's stick that in there. My little trays. Okay. Let's see what happens. I've had these things. I bought these a long while ago and and I just finally opened one up the other day. I'm like, oh I really like that. Why haven't I used it? You know how it is, you know you you see all this eye candy and thought source and stuff. <laughs> it's like, ooh, I got out that. <laughs> oh, I got out that too. And then you have a million things at home and it's like, okay, I need to use that stuff before I go get anything else. Okay, let's get another page. They don't have a lot of writing on the pages. They made it kind of small. They're really old books. Okay. So let's do this. Let's take this is Distress Spray Stain by Tim Holtz. Shake it up. Give it a little squirt, make sure we're, yep, we're working. Okay. Okay, let's lift that. Oh, yes! Oh, isn't that cool? Oh, I love it. I love it. Let's make some more. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's do, um, let's get another page. Let's see what happens if we just like put this on top like that. Oh, I like that. Let's put those there. Okay, that's another one. Look, see, we got another one. All right, I'll bring this light up so it's not so glaring. It seems to really glare. Okay. All right, I like that. All right, let's get another one. Um, let's get. Oh. I like to stick together. Oh, I think it's like. All right, you're like really stuck. There we go. So let's take this one and do that. Okay, so we're going to use a makeup sponge. All right, we're going to use a makeup sponge. Let me get some of the um, burnt sienna. And we're going to just tap it. Let's see how we're looking. Yep. Okay, I need some more burnt sienna. Where did, where did the tube go? Oh, there it is. Last week, or was it last week? I don't know. It wasn't too long ago. I was working, and I've been working on doing this art journal challenge, which is coming up. I don't know when exactly. I, I haven't figured out what day I'm going to do it, but um, if you want to get on my mailing list, if you're not, 
and you'll be notified when it goes live when we when we do it um, we are on how to make um, actually sew together your own art journal from scratch and it's easy peasy love tweezy I'm serious it's not I'm gonna do a very simple a very simple technique and you're gonna create the whole journal all five pages so or spread it's like 10 pages and yeah whatever and then you're gonna make a really cool cover for it too so anyways long story short I've been working on that and what was I thinking about <laughs> oh lord um what was it I know I had a point here somewhere. <laughs> oh lord okay well I forget what my point was so anyways <laughs> I might remember later okay so let's see here should I stop there or should I or should I add blue ones to it too? What do you think? I don't know. Let's let me do half. Let's do half with the blue. We'll do half with the blue. So let me get. Um, let's grab. I think I'm gonna get this the blue black one. Okay, we'll do that. We'll put some blue black. I'm just gonna do it on half of it. We'll see how it looks. That sound like a plan. Okay. Oh yeah. So, anyways, yeah, I kind of like it. I don't know. Should I do the rest of it? I think I should. I think I should. I think I should add more blue to it. I think I should add more blue. So let's go ahead and add more blue. Um. losing track of what I'm thinking. I think of something and I'm like, oh, yeah. and I forget again. <laughs> That's what happens when, you, <laughs> when you're over 60. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, boy. You just roll with the bunches, you know. Okay, so what was I thinking about? Um, oh, yeah. So, anyways, also, if you're not aware, if you go to my website, JanaeRossman.com, okay, J-A-N-N-E, um, like you see on the screen there, um, and then Rossman, R-O-S-S-M-A-N. So if you go there, on the first page on my website, um, right at the top, it says, um, a gift for you, uh, five-day mixed media um, class, and totally free. It's totally free. I spent a lot of time working on this, and it, it just it goes through a lot of um, my processes that I use um, in, in my mixed media. Um, it has like day one is all about like tools and mark making, and, and then the next day you'll get another link to a video um, of all the different kinds of acrylics. I don't know. A lot of people think, well... Yeah, it's just acrylic paint. Well, there's more than acrylic paint. Trust me. There is all kinds of different acrylic mediums, acrylic inks. I mean, all kinds of yummy stuff. And um, then I do a collage one. Then I have a collage a day on, um, what's the other one? Um, I'm going blank again. Uh, I know one of them is draw drawing materials, drawing materials, and another one is watercolor and um, inks. So anyways, it is jam-packed full of information, totally free, totally free. So, um, and it's, it's a great, um, I wish you guys, I wish I knew who you were so I could say, hey, but I just see Facebook user, Facebook user is what it appears to me on uh, because I use StreamYard to do this and it just happens to work so much better. Um, I've tried doing just the Facebook lives and it just does not jive with me because I, I end up, I'm trying to do this live 
<laughs> I put the, I do it horizontal, you know, so you could see the table. Well, it ended up being vertical, so it like turned everything. It was a hot mess, and I'm like, okay, I give up. <laughs> I've tried it several times. <laughs> I just couldn't get the hang of it, so I decided to invest in StreamYard, and this way, you know, I can be on two screens. I can have the table big and then I can, you know, be on the side there and I can see, hi Vonda, how you doing? Um, and then that way I can see comments and stuff too because I have like an iPad right here in front of me um, that I'm looking at and then the phone is above me for the filming. Okay, so let's see here. What's people know? I don't know. Let's see here. I got all kinds of stencils. I don't know. I'm kind of an art quarter. <laughs> I like art stuff. I like explaining stuff. I tell you what, you know, has some good stencils. Stencil girl. There are some really good stencils. And I got some good ones from Donna Downey. Um, also, like that's from Donna. And uh, Stencil Girl. I love, love, love. I love some of the stencils. Um, they have there's some really cool ones. Okay, let's do this one. This one's kind of neat, don't you think? All right, let's take let's do some ultramarine. We need some brighter blue. Let's get some brighter blue. We'll get some ultramarine and let's get the makeup sponge in here. And we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a double stencil thing. Let's see. Let's see what we come up with. We'll do this with the makeup sponge. Let's see what's looking. Oh, I like that. What do you think? You like that? Okay. All right. I like that. I really do. Now, I'm kind of thinking. I don't know. Let's see here. What about... Hmm, Got to do something else. I don't know. Let's see here. What do you think? Circles? Or should I do like this uh, scribbled text over it? What do you think? Come on. Someone's got to give me a, a something. I got big scribbled text and I got little scribbled text. And I got circles. And what else do we got? Oh, I got a lot of stuff, but you know, that could take all night. Um, know, let's see here what else I got. Well, that one's kind of cool. Text. Okay, Linda. Text. All right, big or small? Should I go with the big text, the big one, or the little one? Scribble text. Okay. All right. So that would be this one. Okay. So the scribble text is the big one. So let's do that. And let's take five of these. And hmm, let's see here. Okay. So we have... We have ultramarine. Should I use? Oh, that's black. We don't want to go black. I can go brown, turquoise, brown, turquoise, or uh, oh, forest or forest moss. Okay, which color? Which one are we gonna? Which one are we gonna use? Let's see here. Yes, we're gonna do a spray. We're gonna do the spray. So, um, which color should we use? Should we use the forest green or peacock feathers? Or, this one is called walnut stain. Okay, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Somebody tell me. The forest. Okay, forest it is. All right. All right, so. Let's grab the forest. Let me find where my. Whoops! 
everything's dropping. Look at these scissors. Who remembers these kind of scissors? The metal and the black. Oh, that, I'm going to cut myself. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, we have two forest greens. Okay. So, forest green, and you have chosen my favorite color. I love green. I, I love, like, olive -y, earthy greens. Earthy greens and and um, like the rust, like the canyon rocks, like the burnt sienna we're using. And my other favorite color, well, and brown. And that's why you see it in my like on my website. That's the colors you're gonna see because I just love those colors. It's just all very earthy and stuff. Okay, what did I do with the scribble text? Did it fall? Hi. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck did I do with it while I was trying to um, open this? Anybody see where it went? Oh, well, where did it go? Okay, I had it a minute ago. Where did you go to, Scribble Sex? I swear things have legs around here. I had it one second ago. What the heck? Okay, it's not there. That's not it. Where did it go? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Where did it go? Well, that's just bizarre. Okay, guys. We're going to have to use the other text because I don't know what the heck just happened to it. I don't know where it went. I know you don't want to wait here all night for me to turn the studio upside down. <laughs> what the heck? I have to look to see if Flip that over here. Nope. Did not. Not there. And I don't know. Does anybody see it on my table? Because sometimes I can look right at something and not see it. I swear. Okay. I don't see it. I do not see it. I don't know where it went to. What the heck? I didn't even leave my chair. Oh, well. We're going to use this one. Okay. Forest green. And there we go. And we got this text. All right, so let me hold that down. Still, there we go. Oh, yeah, I like that. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. Like that. Oops, that's a blue. Picked up the wrong one. Put the green on top. There we go. Oh, I like that. That's kind of cool, isn't it? Okay, let's do... Let me get another paper. Let's stick these on the ground. Okay. And still looking on. What the heck happened to that part of text? <laughs> it's just bizarre. Okay. Let's not do what I did before. What the heck is underneath there? Oh, this is things dripping. Okay, just like that. Whoa, look at that. Oh, I like that. Isn't that pretty? Okay, who likes that one? I love it. I think that one's really cool. Okay, whoops. And it just went upside down on my floor. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, there goes more stuff. Okay. Okay, so let's get another. That page is just fell on the floor. Because I got lots more ink on here, so I'm going to use that. I really like that. Well, not as good as the first one, but you know, whatever. Okay. Let me set that aside. I'll get to clean that, baby. All right, so what should we do to this? Let's put, let's get, um, hmm. look at that. Look at these leaves. This is a stencil girl one. I love these, these leaves. Aren't they cool? Okay, let's get some of the burnt sienna and tap some of that in there. Let's see what happens. Mm 
Let's see what's going on. Oh yeah, look at that. That's looking good. I like that. So when you use the makeup sponges, it's helpful to have the thicker um, acrylic paint uh, called Heavy Body, which is what I'm using now. The fluid doesn't work quite as well when you're stenciling, just the nature of it being fluid. So. But I really like using the fluids when I'm working in my um, journal. What do you think? Oh, I like that one. That looks cool. Yeah, I like that one. I like the greens with the rust. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'm a hot mess. Okay, I got a mess to clean up. Let's see here. Um, do, do, do. Okay, so I think I'm on a cold night <laughs> and clean these messy hands of mine. So um, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope that you learned something. Also, um, something that maybe you haven't done. Um, but some of those other papers, I gotta show you, um, from those books that I got yesterday. Now, I'm not going to paint on some of them. Some of them I'll just use as my, um, okay, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? That, that's an old school book. Look at these lessons. Lesson CXV. <laughs> I'm not sure what um, C is in Roman numerals. <laughs> I know the X and the I. <laughs> That's as far as I got. Okay. Manual Geography. It is History and Astronomy. 1860. Oh, look at that page. Isn't that cool? I know. Aren't they cool, Wanda? I think these are so cool. Super cool. And then, oh, there's another one. I don't know. There's an arithmetic one. Okay, like kids today, if you said arithmetic, they'd go, what's arithmetic? Uh. Okay, sorry, everything's falling all over the place. <laughs> okay, look at this. Now this one is from 1752. Now, this I'm not painting on. This I will use for like backgrounds um, in my collage. Look at that. Now, I hate math. <laughs> I do. I hate math. What I love all the numbers. I like numbers, but I don't like math. But look at all those cool like equations and stuff. Of course, I'd have no idea what any of it means, but it's just really cool looking. I think it would be really great for. Um, a collage. I know. Right? Look at that. And there's some like geometry stuff back there. I remember when I was in geometry class. <laughs> I used to get in trouble all the time because we'd be talking to my girlfriend in the back. <laughs> or doing something, drawing or uh, doing something I shouldn't have been doing. Reading something. <laughs> That teacher take my stuff. <laughs> my mom told me a story that when I was a little girl, because I always loved art, I just, you know, since I could hold a crayon. <laughs> and and she uh, she told me, she said, Yeah, she's like, You you were a little stinker. She's like, Your kindergarten teacher took your crayons because you always be daydreaming and drawing all the time. So she took your crayons and you went up on the, the, to her desk when she wasn't looking and took your crayons back. <laughs> oh, goodness, I was a young wolf when I was young. <laughs> Anyways, okay. 
So just wanted to share. Um, I come off on tangents. Sorry. I hope you guys uh, have a lovely evening. And if you're in my mixed media, um, it's called mixed media. <laughs> Let me try to remember. <laughs> Links Media and Art Journaling Group. Uh, yeah, that's a free group that I have. I am going to start doing um, a special like lesson just in that group. It won't be on my my page like this is, but it will be in my group. Okay, so if um, I know, I don't, I know. The, it is hard to cut them up, but I, they're so beautiful. I mean, when you put them in collage, oh, they're so cool. And probably what I'm going to do, Gail, is I'm going to take some of the pages, like my favorite ones, and what I'll do is I'll scan them first. So I'll scan them and save the files. And then, like, look at that one. I like that one. Um, so I'll scan the files and then and look at that. Just look at the, the old the text and stuff, the way they have the, um, oh, what is that type of old English text? But uh, anyway, I'll sc I scan the files and then I will, um, that way I, I save them so I can use the scan or, and or, use um, the page itself. And then once I use the page, I can always have the scan to put because a lot of times, you know, the the layers are going to be underneath, you know, as you build and collage. So um, I know in my um, the mixed media art journaling um, challenge that I'm going to be doing, I actually scan. Uh, got these really really old dictionaries, like they're so cool. <laughs> I've got this kind of old books and dictionaries. <laughs> I've got all these books, but um. Anyways, so I scan like certain words that we're going to use, like flower and um, butterfly, bird, you know, some dictionary. And so what I did, I scan them, and then they're going to go into a file. So the people who sign up for the challenge will actually get those scans um, that they can print out and use in their collage. And you'd never even know that it wasn't the original, you know, what time we painting. Um, all the stuff on it. So, anyhow, there you go. So, I'm going to start doing some, um, like I said, some classes in the, the group. <laughs> My mind it just like darts off. I'm kind of ADHD, so <laughs> my, my mind goes oh, ping ponging all the time. So, Anyways, so I'm going to be doing that, and of course there's going to be some times that um, I'll be gone. I know I'm going out of town, I think it's next weekend, so I'll probably not do it next weekend, but this weekend I will. And I'll let everybody know, like, okay, I won't be doing lives when I'm out of town, because um, I've got a couple things I'm going to be doing. I'm going to Indianapolis for a cool watercolor class, can't wait, and, uh, and I'm also going to go to Lafayette. North of Lafayette, Indiana, to Twin Rocker Paper Company, Handmade Paper Company. I used to make handmade paper all the time, and I hadn't since my daughter was a baby. And well, that was 27 years ago, so I'm going to get back into it, and I can't wait. So I'm going to go there and check out all their goodies and pick up some stuff to start doing handmade paper. And maybe we'll even do a little live on handmade paper. Wouldn't that be cool? So, um, so that's one of my things in. I have a girlfriend coming from Tulsa, and we're going to go see Hawking Hills. I was in Ohio for like, I don't know, how long have I been here? 40 years, and I've never gone to Hawking Hills. What the heck? It's time to go, right? So, I'm going to go. Oh, Gail, you're a special ed paraprofessional. Main area tutoring is middle and high school math. Oh, oh I bet you love this, don't you, Gail? Yeah, that would be really cool to show them like something like this, like really old math. I don't know if you're in um, if in the Cincinnati area, but or wherever you're at, you find a bookstore that sells. And there's not a lot, a lot of them. A, a, the, the old that sells vintage books. So you want to look up bookstores that sells vintage books, and then. Um, 
I'm telling you, some great finds. I actually got a book. I got a whole set of them. Let me pull it out. But, ah, that's what I was going to show you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, these, um, there's a whole bunch of them. But I, I bought them just because of the cover. <laughs> And she had like a whole collection of them. I'm like, yeah, I'll take them all. I'll take up all of them. And so I just, I just so in it on the pages. And then, and I, I go, I, I like randomly go um, from book to book, you know, from a handmade journal to, you know, altering a journal to, you know, I just, it depends whatever flows my boat at the time and that's what I work in. So that's one of my favorite pages. I love those. The colors are so cool. That's antelope brown. I love that antelope brown. It's like a green brown color. Who can get two colors in one? <laughs> and the turquoise and everything is so pretty. You know, and that red. And I'm not a big red fan, but oh my gosh, I love the red on this. Just really love it. So hey, sometimes I'll just use the pages just trying out different colors and stuff. Hey, let's do that. Let's do that real quick. So, you know, we have these colors, and I did not really get into exploring them, so let's do that. Let's just open up this page, and um, so, sorry, I got the sniffles. I think the air conditioning gives me sniffles. My girlfriend, she gets too cold, and she's so always wearing a, she's like, I gotta go get it, get a sweater out of the car. Like I put, put it up really high so it wouldn't bother you today. Okay, so here we go. So let's put some burnt sienna. Okay, and then let me grab a, here, another one. Here, let's grab. Boy, it's really. There we go. Now it's nice and thick. Oh, there we go. All right. So we got the burnt sienna. And I'm going to do a little color mixing. Because that's what I wanted to do too. And I, I kind of go off on tangents. So I'm going to do this color mix. And so let's take that one and we're going to take this one. And maybe I should just save it. Oh, you're northern Minnesota. Okay. Oh, yeah. Are you, did you find me through um, Sarah? Because um, I know I did a. Um, was interviewed by Sarah um, Longworth Cohen. Yeah, Longworth Cohen. And um, today, that was fun. I enjoyed that. So I am mixing. Let's take more sienna and just a little bit of, take a little bit of the That's a little bit of the ultramarine. So we have ultramarine, burnt sienna. Okay. And then let's take more ultramarine and only a tiny bit of burnt sienna. And you see how we get that? Um, it looks like a Payne's gray. Yes, through Sarah. Okay. So it looks like a Payne's Gray. Isn't that pretty? See, see, I have to buy Payne's Gray if you have those two colors. I love Payne's Gray. It's such a pretty color. Okay. So now I'm just going to add a little bit more. And let's see here. Let's go back to adding some brown. Or not brown. Ugh, in my mind. Um, I hope I need more. There we go. So there's another tone. Now, let's add a little bit of white. Let's grab a little white and see what happens here. Pretty. Look at that. Let's grab a little more white. Yep. That's pretty. I like that. And then let's take the um, one that's more like Payne's Gray. Let's see here. Get get the more of the blue with the white. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. 
And then let's add some more. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm really loving this. Look at that. That's pretty. Let's get some more. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's really making me happy. <laughs> oh, Bonnie, you found me through Sarah, too. Oh, cool. Awesome. Yeah, she teaches art. So, did you meet her through, um, Gail, did you meet her through teaching? Because um, I know she teaches middle school. Let's see here. Let's try some of that. Let's get some more white. Grab some more white. Yeah, I've got a little blue and a little brown and the white. Oh, those are really pretty. So this is kind of cool because you can take, you know, take an old book and just use that for like color swatching. Um, and that way, and then what I'll do here, let me find a pen, better put that brush in the water before it dries out. Let's see here. Here, pen, here we go. I'll just use the Sharpie. Okay, so uh, that way, you know, so this is Burnt Sienna. Of course, that's wet, so it won't write. <laughs> An ultramarine, blue. And then down here we have plus white. So, you know, that way you just make some notes in your in your little book there. Um, so you remember, like, what color was that that I used? And that way you've got it written down there. And, um, oh, those are really pretty. I like those. And see, so what I do, well, okay, I've been on here forever. I could talk. I could talk your ear off. Um, anyhow. So, I guess I better like leave that open <laughs> so it dries. Oh, Lord. Okay, we'll put that in there. That way it won't like close on itself. Okay, I'm going to call it a night, ladies. And I hope you enjoyed this. And I hope you learned something. Got to get back to work. Always fun. Oh, thank you, Wanda. Um, you want to do art with y'all instead of my photography. <laughs> Well, I did. I did my photography for a while, and I'm like, I wanted to learn, you know, learning, learn all the different things, and I did, and then I'm like, okay, I'm ready to go back to my art. It's my true love, and uh, so here I am. Okay, everyone have a great evening. You're welcome, Gail, and... Uh, Maybe I'll, I'll uh, catch you Saturday morning when, um, or Saturday evening. I think I'm going to do it in the evenings. I think it's better for everybody in the evenings. So, so, yeah, Saturday evening. I don't know why I said Saturday morning. Saturday evening. I think evenings work better. I always end up doing laundry and feeding the birds and everything in the morning. So. Okay. Go. I promise. <laughs> All right. Ladies, have a nice evening. Bye-bye.